In this video, I'm gonna show you how to send some Bitcoin or Litecoin to your Trezor. The process is pretty much the same for either. I'm gonna use Litecoin in this video just because the transaction fees are a little bit cheaper at the moment. And also because with Litecoin, there's one extra step that I wanna show you so you know how to deal with that. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is plug in your Trezor. You wanna plug it in to your USB and have your screen open here. So uh, you have the different options here of what you can send to your Trezor. Uh, I'm gonna choose Litecoin, but obviously you wanna send your respective whatever you're trying to send. So if you're doing Litecoin, choose Litecoin. And then in order to send money to your Trezor, you're gonna wanna receive to get the address, the address that you're sending it to. So now I have this address here, and what I'm gonna wanna do is go to my source where I have my Litecoin and send it. I have some Litecoin in Coinbase where you might have it as well. And so we can just come here, paste this in, and we should be able to send some money to, Coin to Trezor. I like to send just a dollar first because then I can make sure you know it works, just make sure that the, the, the pathway works. And then I can send after this, if I wanna send more than a dollar, uh, I can use the same address and just know that it works. I don't know, that's just something I made up, but it just feels right. You know, if you're gonna send $1,000 over to your Trezor, I don't know, I just wanna make sure a dollar gets over there first. So that's what I do. Um, so I put in the address here and I just choose a dollar and then it tells me yeah, the network fee is pretty much nothing with this. That's pretty awesome. With Bitcoin, it's, it's quite a bit higher at the moment, so I don't wanna do that. And I'm gonna press continue. Okay, so that would have worked with Bitcoin or a few of the other currencies, but with Litecoin, there's a little extra step that you might need to do, and so I wanna take you through that. It says, please enter a valid address, and so you may receive that. And so what you need to do, and it and tells you right here, it says you need to convert it to start with an M. So you open this up here, and paste in this address here, paste it in right here. And so it converts it to this address here. So now I can send my dollar to that address that begins with a three because it's a deprecated version. I send continue and it says, are you sure you wanna confirm that you're sending you know, uh, $1 of Litecoin and I'm saying confirm. And it's like, boom, your money's on the way. View details, things are going great in your life. And you can see almost instantly, did you see? Almost instantly, it just, boom, it came right there. So now when I go to transactions, I can see that I have this transaction sent to this address, the amount that came in, and that's pretty great. The good thing about Trezor is the next time I go here, when I go to receive, uh, it's going to give me a fresh address or I could request more addresses if I want. And this is useful because some of these currencies here, like Bitcoin especially, uh, is pseudo-anonymous, which means that yeah, it's anonymous, but if so, yeah, if somebody were if you were to reuse an address a bunch of times and somebody finds out your address, they could go and review you know all of all your transactions. So it's almost totally anonymous. You're going to get more anonymity if you're using something like Zcash or Dash or Monero, um, but you know with this you might want a fresh address, and that's why that option's there. When you send, it's pretty much the same thing. You're just going to choose the address coming from Litecoin, uh, coming from Coinbase and put the amount there and I'll tell you the fee and it's pretty much the same process there. So it's pretty easy to send and receive money using your Trezor. Give it a try. If you have any questions, put them down below. I'll try to help you. Oh, and I also teach a course called One Month Bitcoin here at One Month and at Columbia University where I show you how to send and receive and think about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So I'll put a link down below to that as well if you wanna keep learning with me. So check that out. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and maybe I'll see you again in another video.